Hi, and welcome to the ABC Video Tip of the Week sponsored by Volleyball One on One. I am super excited to have my fellow Bruin here, Stein Metzger. Stein is a three time NCAA champion, Olympian, and the current UCLA head beach volleyball coach. Last year, he coached 66 AVP and FIVB players. And right now, we got two of those players. Uh, Sean and Ariel from the Israeli national team here, and we're going to be working on something today. Stan, what are we working on? Yeah, I think his name is pronounced Ariel. Ariel. Getting better at that. Um, yeah, we're lucky to have these guys here in town. They've been here for a couple months working with me, and we're going to talk about setting the difference between indoor setting and beach setting. I want to give people a little kickstart to get going on the beach because there's some essential things that are different between the two. Um, so let's get started. Uh, let me explain it first. I want to come up with three keywords or three keys for you guys. The first one is going to be approach through the ball. Uh, if you guys could give me a little space here. Um, a habit that I see a lot out of indoor players when they first come onto the beach is they have a tendency when their partner calls for the pass to run to the net. Now this is what you want in indoor, right? You're gonna get to the net, they're gonna bring the ball to you and you run an offense. On the beach, it's gonna make it really challenging for you to square up to where you wanna set. It's really crucial that we square up. Now if I run here and the pass is in a medium type area, which is what we want on the beach, you're gonna to have to come back and then you're gonna to have to spin to square up and the ball tends to drift all over the place, okay? I call that the sea snake, the sea snake route. Ideally, if that's my passer, as soon as they call it, I want to get to this neutral position. They lead me, keep the ball between you and your partner, lead you, and now my path is straight to the ball and straight to my square up. It's going to make it a lot easier to square up and just set the ball dead straight. Okay? Second thing I want to talk about is basket. Indoor, we tend to take the ball a little bit higher and use a lot of our small muscle groups, fingers and wrists. On the beach, we want to use large muscle groups. So, if I pull my wrist back and create this basket where the ball will fall right into my hands. Andor, can I see your basket? He's got his wrist pulled back. The ball falls in and sits right in his basket. He's got some nice contact on the ball so he can really control the ball. As he extends, he doesn't extend his wrist. He just, his elbows will finish the extension. His wrists stay back and the ball just leaves the basket. Okay? As soon as we start getting flicky like indoor, the ball starts to spin, people start calling doubles on you, and the ball starts to flare out in different directions. We just want that ball to come straight out of your basket, okay? Last thing we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about is called spring, what I like to call spring. As we set, we don't wanna get too tall, okay? We wanna stay loaded and extend all the way through the ball, and then the ball leaves our basket without flicking with our fingers, okay? So quick review. Approach, we want to wait in our neutral position. We want to create our basket and we want to extend all the way, load our spring, extend all the way and let the ball leave the basket. All right, so let's let's have our Israeli buddies over here do a few, demo this move. We've been working on it for a couple months. They came straight out of indoor and uh, I think they got it down. Here we go. All right, so we're just gonna go through and have the Israeli guys demo this move. Remember, we're talking about three things we're talking about path through the ball so that we're square to the target, basket, load your spring and full extension. Ready guys? Nice. Let's get a two ball rotation going here. That's it guys. Straight through the ball. They wait in their neutral position in the back court or about mid court. They're coming straight through to the target basket, they got their wrist pulled back, loading the spring, and coming straight out through the ball. That's it. As soon as they, if they have to start turning and aiming the ball to a spot, it becomes really challenging. The wrist factor goes way up. But if they can just go straight through the ball and set straight ahead without even worrying about aiming, it makes the sport really easy. Okay, I think you guys get the gist. Um, next we'll do a couple of uh, videos on um, on drills. So uh, we're going to add two drills for setting and these are great drills that can be used by all levels, everything from beginner through to the highest level advanced. And uh, make sure you come check them out. Also, make sure you check out all of Stein's videos. We've got some absolutely incredible videos on beach volleyball coaching, but we also have some great videos on indoor. 
For example, we got over 25 videos where Stein breaks down every single element of setting. And I'm telling you, three time NCAA champion, four times in the finals, it's some phenomenal stuff. So make sure you check out all of that at the link below. Okay, Stein, we'll look forward to seeing the rest of the drill. Sounds good. Uh, okay, we're gonna run a drill right now. Both of these drills have to do with two teams. If you have two teams of two showing up, uh, this is a great thing to do in warm-ups and just start to get your legs warm, get everything warm, and work on some of your setting techniques. So we do this just about every practice. Um, right now we're gonna have two left-siders on the left side. They're gonna be alternating setting. We have our one right-sider passing, and we'll have one right-sider at the net chipping. Uh, reason why I like this drill is we keep it live, just one ball. So the snapper gets to start warming up their shoulder and working on their control with their hand. Passer gets to start working on passing into the sweet spot. And setters get to alternate so they're not running too hard and working on their technique for setting. So let's set up. It's a simple triangle. So notice the setters are waiting back in a neutral zone, walking straight through the path of the ball. Ariel is passing, leading the setter in front of them so they can walk straight through the ball because as we know, volleyball is a forward moving sport. And Andor is doing a nice job of keeping the ball in control, keeping the play going. So it's like a four person pepper. Nice extension. Both these guys are doing a nice job of keeping their wrists back and extending all the way through the ball. Second drill, you'd have to have two teams and a coach. Um, coach is going to be at the target. Snapper is going to be on the other side of the net, snapping. So we're working on a little bit more control and over the net ball. Passer has something that's a little more, more live. Coach is going to stand at the net, and I'm going to tell the setter, I'm going to say now, as soon as the setter is square to the spot, and the setter's job is to try and get that now call as soon as possible. So if they wait and cut straight through the path of the ball, they should be squared from the time the ball starts to get passed because they're just going straight to the target. Let's check it out. Uh, let's switch, guys. Let's have two right side setters this time. Let's have a left side passer and a left sider snapping over there. And in this drill, we'll go with a two ball. Two balls will be live. All right, here we go. All right, there's your warm up one shot. Not quite. Let's get square now. And now. And now. That's it, on door. And now. And. Not quite. Square it up. And now. Nice out here. Now. Beauty. That's it. And now. That's good, guys. Okay, so obviously we'll run through four rounds of that. Next we can have a right sider, different right sider passing, different right side, left right sider snapping, and then we'll come back to the left and switch them to so everyone gets a chance to do everything. Can I ask you a question, Stein? Yeah. Uh, when you say the and now, what do you mean by that? What was I not doing correctly? Uh, and now means we want you to square up to the target as soon as possible because if you're the target and I'm facing this way and trying to set sideways to the target, it's going to get really challenging for me to be consistent. If I can square up as soon as possible and just set straight off my nose, imagine I'm a tank turret and just facing straight and just shooting the ball straight. That's yeah. what we want. That's where you're going to get consistent. You're going to be able to set the same ball over and over. Now, I've seen some of the top players do this. It seems like Phil is really good at squaring up yeah. like this and some of these other big guys. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, oh, big guys tend to be really physical, but they might not have the best hand-eye coordination when you um, rank them against smaller players. So they have to get really consistent. They have to get really simple with their movements and really methodical with what they do. And you see guys like Matt Ferber again. He is just really consistent and methodical and simple with every every set that he makes, and he's become really consistent and great setter. And the more simplified you can make it, the more consistent it is. For sure. Okay, great advice. Make sure you check out all of Stein's videos at the link below. Also, make sure you check out all his incredible videos for both beach and indoor below. Thank you.